All right, guys, welcome back to yet another year of FIFA. And today we're going to be starting off our Everton career mode. I started off the journey last night. If you want to check that out, I did my part one there. But we're going to be doing the career mode. That's what I'm going to focus on mainly, editing these career mode videos into finely tuned specimens. Uh, but yeah, let's jump in. We're going to get just started right off the bat. And we're going to do an Everton career mode, obviously, because I am an Everton fan. This is uh, my merch, by the way. Since last year, I do have merch. That's the only difference since my last uh, FIFA career mode. <laughs> so you can buy that if you want to. Uh, manage your career, obviously. Um, nah, I'll just leave it. I don't want any perks. I don't want any bonuses. I just want what we have right now. And um, latest squads have been downloaded. Okay, here we go. Everton, domestic success, high. Continental success, medium. Brand exposure, high. Financial, low. Youth development, medium. Okay. Let's do it. Marco Silva. That's who we're being, guys. That's who we are. Marco Silva. Gonna put in his full name and everything. This guy looks really nothing like him, but... You know what? It's fine. Select nationality. He's Portuguese, isn't he? Portugal. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, we'll start on World Class. I did play on Legendary in FIFA 18, but we'll try World Class first and see what happens. Um, stadium go to some park. Latest squads, yes. Transfer window enabled. And these are enabled as well, but we're not going to be in it, obviously, because Everton didn't make it into Europe last season. We appoint Silva as new boss. <laughs> Alright, perfect. I guess this was Silva's first season, actually, so it makes sense. And, um, yeah, we're going to try and... I, I don't really know who we're going to sign because I kind of want to want to tinker with Everton's current squad. And I want to see how well we can do with that. But I, I am going to sign a striker, at least one striker. Because I feel like um, Senk Tassan is a, is a good player. But he's low on confidence right now in real life. So, I don't know. We'll see what we can do there. Um, oh, my God. 87 million for Kylian Mbappe. Jesus. Is that how much they paid for him in real life? That's a lot of fucking money, man. <laughs> I'm not going to play in the preseason tournaments. I never like playing them. I feel like it just drags on way too much. I prefer just getting straight into the action. But um, we'll see. We shall see, Renly, come the dawn. Okay, let's have a look at our office. Email inbox. Shirt sales. Transfer market information. Vision and expectations. Let's have a look at the objectives. Okay, youth development, sign at least two players younger than 20 years old with potentials greater than the average overall rating players if currently in the same position. Okay, brand exposure, gained 44 million earnings from shirt sales within a season. Qualified to UEFA Champions League. Premier League, finished in the UEFA Champions League place. Yes, yes. Okay, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. So they want us to qualify for the Champions League in our first season. Not at all uh, not at all a big ask. Come on, guys. Give me some fucking time here. Okay, let's just press advance. And we're going to have a look at some strikers, maybe. I was thinking maybe like Jamie Vardy. Um, Arnautovic. Kind of just a proven striker at the moment is what we need, I feel like. Okay, let's, um, let's get a short list of our own right now. Sorry, it's very early, by the way, so I am kind of out of it a little bit right now. I said I'd get up straight away and record this video. Let's have a look at our starting 11, though, for now, right? Okay, so where's our new center backs? Kurt Zuma, 78, and Yeri Mina, 78. Really? Huh. Lucas Digne, 78 as well. I think I'm going to start Digne, though, just because he has um, so much potential. Belassi, get the hell out of there. Bernard, get in there. Um, it's going to be tough to, like, even get my bench in order, because... I don't know who I'm going to start, to be honest. Like, Yeri Mina, should I start him instead of Jagielka? Or should I start Zuma ahead of Jagielka? Like, Jagielka is incredibly old now, but he's also super solid and one of my favorite players of all time. But I think, yeah, we might be better starting like Zuma or Mina. I thought they'd be higher rated than 78, to be honest, but apparently not. Yeah, I don't want three defenders. That's the problem. I don't want three defenders on the bench either. Like, I have to have Mina or Jags in the reserves, to be honest. 
Who do I think? Who do you think is gonna be better, Yeri Mina or Kurzuma, guys? Who should we start alongside Keen? Mina or I don't know who to start alongside Keen. Let me know in the comments who you prefer to have me start alongside Michael Keane. Would it be Jagielka, Kurt Zuma, or Yeri Mina? I'd be interested to see the answers for that one. Okay, I'll put James McCarthy on there ahead of Tom Davies as well. Now I think we have a decent bench. Richardson's going to start. Um... Wow, Bernard is 80 and Richarlison's only 77. Bernard was really good when he came on, by the way. I think we'll try Gomez in center mid ahead of Schneiderlin. I might end up selling Schneiderlin, to be honest. I'm not, like, a huge fan of his. And, yeah, maybe we'll put Zuma in there now as well. Even though we have three defensive players in there. Whatever. We don't have many great attack attacking options off the bench now. We do have Bernard and Calvert-Lewin, but I, think we I feel like we need a little bit more... Venom coming off the bench there. So we'll try and sign a player, um, a striker, preferably. So yeah, let's have a look. Maybe someone like, yeah, Jamie Vardy. Let's try Vardy and see what Leicester have to say about that. They'll probably tell us to stuff it. But we'll try Jamie. He's 31. Yikes. Maybe not then. What age is Marco Arnautovic? I think he's like similar. He's like 31 as well. I'm pretty sure. Arnautovic. There he is. Oh, no, he's only 29. Okay, I'm going to have a look at Marco Arnautovic and see what they say. Shortlist and transfer hub. Uh, because I feel like that would be a huge signing, you know? That would be like a big, big signing for the now, for the present. Maybe not for the future, but for the now, it would be a huge signing still. And I really want to piss game right off by taking uh, West Ham's best player. So, there's that too. Transfer hub. Marco Arnautovic. Let's approach to buy. Can we, like, ask them or whatever? We can't, like, just ask them what they want for him? Oh, we're just going straight in. That's Pellegrini, boys. I'm guessing we're going to need to go to, like, the 20... Could we player swap, maybe? Would they be looking for anyone? Like, could they be looking for, like, a Morgan Schneiderlin, maybe? Oh, no. I meant with money, though. I, I didn't mean to offer that. Player plus cash deal. Okay. I'm down with that. Honestly. Wait. And 28 million? Is that real? And 28 million plus Schneiderlin. Are you fucking mental? How about 22 million plus Schneiderlin? Jesus Christ. That would add up to a 31 million. No, I'm going to try 30 million total. Jesus Christ, man. Well, we can offer more than 21. I'm trying to play. I am trying to play hardball. <laughs> fucking kidding me they really want to keep Arnautovic huh I guess I can understand that let's try 25 plus Schneiderlin geez I wonder what would what they would have been offering if I didn't um or what they would have wanted if I didn't offer Schneiderlin Okay, they agree on that. Jesus Christ. I don't think that was worth it, honestly. <laughs> 25 million. But that's adding up to 34 million for a goddamn player that's 29 years old. The market is pretty ridiculous at the moment, though. So you kind of have to pay a lot. And it's not like I'm going to sign a, a boatload of players either. I don't really mind too much signing um, a player for a lot of money because we're not going to be playing. We're not going to be buying too many players. I might sign a couple more young players and stuff like that for the future. But for our first team, this is pretty much it. Okay, 91,000 a week, 820 grand bonus. Okay, let's... Jesus Christ, man. Let's try 90... No, I'm at 90 grand. Let's try 90 grand and 800k. 
Bang. Just trying to get it down just a little bit. Okay, we accepted that. Good shit. Woo! Marco Arnautovic, welcome to the club, sir. Imagine we signed Marco in real life. That'd be such a great signing. Holy shit. Alright, we signed Marco Arnautovic now. I mean, can't ask for much better than that. So now we'll have to drop one of the center backs to the bench. Or to the reserves, rather. We'll start with Jack Yelk on the reserves, because he is so old, man. But He's 35 years old. But he's still such... I love him so much, dude. Like, look at this. I just love this man. Phil Jagielka. 35 years old. 192 pounds. He's a beast of a man. But um, we're going to put Arnautovic up front for now. We're going to start him. We're going to have Tossin on the bench. Just for now. We'll see how it goes. Um, is, is Stecklenburg literally the only keeper we have? We have this Hulwolf guy, but he's... Yeah, we need a new sub-keeper. If anything happens to Pickford, we are in a world of trouble. But yeah, we'll try we'll try this team for now. That's I think that's a solid team right there, man. And a lot of them have the potential to get a lot better, like Richarlison, etc. etc. Twenty-seven million for Jordan Pickford. Shove it up your ass, Mace. You're never getting Jordan Pickford ever in your wildest dreams. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? Right, this this man found all he could as Fran in France. Okay, there's a scout coming back from France. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 Mickey Samuel. I know you well, buddy. Now let's uh, do a little bit of training as well because we want to train our younger players, get them, get them better. We'll train. Um, our Nautilus can't get any better, so eighty-two is his max max potential, which makes sense because he is in the peak of his career. Calvert Lewin can get better, obviously. We'll put him in. We'll do um, speed shooting, maybe. We'll try that. Calvert Lewin has a lot of potential. I think he can get up to like eighty-three or eighty-four or something. Scott was telling me that. Richarlison can obviously get better. We'll try to keep up the pace with him. Nope, didn't mean to do that. So yeah, Richarlison. And then we'll try... Let's have a look at, again at the midfielders. Kieran Dowell. I think he can get a lot better. Bernard can get better too. Promising player. He's only 24. Our, sorry, not Bernard. Gomez. Which is interesting. We'll try just the first one for everyone here. I think they set it up as if... Kurt Zuma's 23 only. Yeri Min is 23 as well only. So we got some nice, promising young center backs that can get a lot better. Uh, let's try the rookie defending scenarios. And then the last one. Pickford can't get any better than 83? Really? He's reached his max potential at 24 years old? Damn, Pickford's 24 now? Why did I think he was so much younger than that? Let's do Gomez as well. I swear Pickford was like 22. He's the same age as me, though. Pickford's the same age as me. And uh, clearly I've accomplished a lot more than than Jordan Pickford at the same age. But he, still, he, he can still catch up to me, you know? Okay, yeah. See, something like that I can accept. Brendan Galloway on loan. We'll accept that to uh, Stoke City. Okay. Sure. Why not? It's not like he's going to be getting any game time for us at the moment. So I might as well send him out on loan. Alright, we're still in July here, so... Okay, here comes our first Premier League game against Wolves. The 11th of August is coming up real soon. Okay, Galloway loaned out, found all I could in Norway. Um, and here is our boy that we just scouted. 20 years old. What is he? Look at his balance and shit. Oh, his overall is only 64. But, like, look at it. Does he have good potential? I would say he probably has good potential, does he? Shortlist him anyway. I would think so. Look. All right, guys. Well, I think it's about time we do our first game of the season and see how we do. We have a fully fit squad. Unlike Everton in real life, there was a lot of injuries. A lot of the guys weren't ready. But we have a fully fit squad, so we should be able to beat Wolves. Unlike the draw of real life, the 2-2 draw. Uh, but let's jump in. All right, guys. I think that's the exact team we're going to start with. We're going to have Gomez in for Schneiderlin. We'll have Arnautovic in for Tossin, Tossin for now. And we'll have Walcott and Richarlison, either side of Sigurdsson. And then our defense is Yeri Mena, Michael Keane, Lucas Digne, Seamus Coleman, and Jordan Pickford. I, I like it. I like that team right now. Five minutes, world class, away from home. Let's do it. First game of the season. Let's see how we go. Well, here he is, the debut boy. Certainly 
one of the most interesting features of the match we're about to bring you, and it's live. How you like that game, right? Marco Arnautovic, eh? <laughs> In the Everton blue. All right, what is happening? Welcome to you all. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler, and welcome to you all to Premier League football again. The opening game coming right up. Our match today is Wolverhampton Wanderers, and they play. Oh, Gay okay, is captain. Opening day, this one, and the home team I should have probably made Sigurdsson captain, side. maybe. No, Coleman should be captain. What am I talking about? I don't know if Coleman's they, playing. Know exactly what's going to become of their side, but uh, yeah, Coleman should be captain. I'll change that in the next fight. And, uh, My bad. I think it just automatically switched again when I there. took off Jack Yilke. There he is, man. Have got lofty ambitions. They've set up a squad, a team that's capable of finishing a Champions League spot and there'd be a lot of disappointment at this club if they don't achieve that got some very talented so let me know if you there. do have any critiques or um you know advice for this series as a whole and you can let me know if you want me to get like young signings as well I'll be interested to see what you think but yeah let's try and hit 200 likes on this part guys so 200 likes on this video and we'll make it into a full series let's let's get it going I, I think we have over a thousand likes on uh, last year's part one so maybe we can do something crazy like that but last year's one just blew up a little bit i'm not really expecting anything of the same caliber this year but i'll take even half as good to be honest let's get it come on blues fantastic the career mode is underway in the journey, I actually scored with my first touch of the game. If you want to check that out, that was funny, kind of funny. My first touch in the in FIFA 19 was a goal. It was a volley. Gilfi Sigurdsson, Marco Anatovic. Here's with Charlison, Lucas Stigny. Oh, time to get the cross now. Ooh, that's great defending right. there, stopping that attack. Good positive start, boys. Game. I really Four like the look of Lucas Digne as well, guys, from real signing. life yeah, so far. Let me know who you think Everton's a, best signing of the summer was. Someone asked me that, and I honestly, I, I struggled to answer. I was saying either Richarlison or Lucas Digne, but we haven't even seen much of the other signings yet. When Bernard came on, he was very good. He looked very tricky. He did look like a bit of a, a shithouse, like he diving all over the place and kind of whining and complaining and, you know, screaming in agony when it wasn't even that serious but I hope he kind of gets that out of him but at the same time he did look like a very dangerous player in and around the box and he looks like he's going to create a lot of chances oh god they just walked through our defense that's one of the worst goals you'll ever concede that is an awful goal to concede I was talking just way too much but uh, it was an interesting question I thought because we haven't really seen enough of Yeri Mina, Zuma. Oh, we've seen a bit of Zuma. We haven't seen any of um, Gomez, you know, so it'll be interesting to see. Look at this. Coleman, if he didn't slide in there, he probably would have got that first. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. Maybe not. I don't know. That's an awful goal, though. Holy shit. We just let that guy walk through our defense. That ain't no problem, boys. We're going to get back into it. It's fine. And Digne, the amount of chances he's been creating, his crossing seems like it's absolutely superb. Arnautovic's first touch, probably. Ooh, okay. Worth a go. Worth a go, Arnautovic. I probably need to change his number from 15. Not really a great number. We'll see. We'll have a look at the numbers after. Who's number 7? I think it was Balassi, was it? One Theo. Oh, Dan again nearly levels things. At Molyneux. Good effort. Good play. I'm not worried yet because we are creating chances so far. Oh my god! Arnautovic nearly gets his first goal for Everton. Off the crossbar. And I thought for a good whole second that that was his opening goal for the club. Hey, yikes! Everybody stay calm. It's fine. All right, this is an end-to-end -end game. It's looking like way too open right now. We need to shut that down just a little bit. Keeping the ball. Andreevich. Andre Gomez. Good play. 
Now with Ooh, and Arnautovic has another goal for his first Everton goal. But it's touched over the bar by Ruud. It's right here. Oh! Andre Gomez nearly opens his account for Everton in his debut as well. It's his debut as well, actually, yeah. But that was close, man. That was nearly bottom corner. And we're creating a lot of chances here. We just need to get a goal. I'm not worried. We, we got this. We can make some subs around 60 minutes if it's not working. We haven't got back into the game yet. There we go, halftime. And we're losing 1-0, but there's a lot of positive signs there. We're creating chances. But also up the other end, we're, we're not looking too solid. So we need to... We need to tighten up at the back, but as you can see, we had a, a good few opportunities. It was just kind of not many of them on target. Still the attack is oh, great ball from Gilfie Sigurdsson to find Theo Walcott. Theo Walcott. Cuts back. Gilfie, shot. Oh. Hangs on. Just no, no venom in the shot. He hit it with his left foot. I thought he was going to hit that with his right for sure. Alan about Everton's and next game. has some space here. They're playing Southampton in the next match. And, uh, well, shots on here. Oh Trying my god, Richarlison, how? Oh, that was so close, man. That was very, very close. Holy hell. That had got to be close, right? All right, um, let's bring on Bernard. And let's bring on Jenk Tozen for Arnautovic. Arnautovic, you had a good debut, man, but going to need to switch it up. We need to get a goal here. Five from goal. Whipped in from the wide area. Oh! <laughs> good effort, Jenk. Oh my god, I just slid the ball out. <laughs> that was a good effort, man. Yes! And Cenk, the super sub, does score. And he scores in the first game of the season. He hasn't scored in real life yet, but... I don't. I think he's going to score soon. I think he's going to score a few then. And the crowd is. The crowd looks way better. Wow! I just noticed that there when they zoomed in on that crowd. What a goal, by the way! What a nice finish there. There was a lot of people on him there. A lot of people kind of closing him down there through the legs of one, just outside the leg of the other, into the very top corner from Cenk to Son and Marco Silva, our man there, is celebrating. He looks good in this game, man. Holy hell! Chenk looks really good, doesn't he? Wow. Is, uh, Maybe the graphics are a lot better. Some of the character models now. look like a lot better. No wrong person, dude. Why would you not pass it to the person running down the wing at full speed? That's it. All right. Good first game. I think we honestly deserve the three points. But we'll take the point after going 1-0 down in our first game. Cenk to Son gets the equalizer. It was a very entertaining game, to be fair. And we did create a lot of chances, so that's why I kind of think we maybe deserve the win, because we did create a shitload of chances. But very fun game. I enjoyed that. I feel like I enjoy the gameplay of FIFA 19 a little bit more than FIFA 18 so far. It just seems a little bit more fast-flowing. Um, it's similar. Look, the crowd looks so good now. Holy shit, the crowd models. They look very good. But Tassan equalizes after coming on as a substitute for Arnautovic. Arnautovic had a good game. Just couldn't get it in the back of the net. And that was the goal we conceded. I mean, that's awful. That's awful. Let's have one more look at Jenk's goal here in the 78 minute. Gomez on the ball. Passes it to Sigurdsson. Tries to take a shot. And it just kindly comes to Senk Tassan who buries it into the top corner. And Sigurdsson will get the assist for that. That's a terrific effort by him and by the manager who sent him off. Bang! Well, oh, he out, waits he until your man goes your and just megs him with it. And Sank celebrates in style with your boy Richarlison on his back. But yeah, I enjoyed that. Very enjoyable game. I think that's where we'll end part number one. We'll kind of, after this part, we're going to do um, two games per part. But look at that. We had double their shots and more possession. Yeah, we definitely like could have won that game. But player ratings, let's have a look at the, the player ratings here and see who done what. So, it was a good game from... Tassan was mad of the match. He came out and got mad of the match. Oh my god, Sandro looks awful. He was the same in the last game. Looks nothing like himself. It's weird. Um, but yeah, we will be doing two games per part after this. 
But as soon as this is the intro and I was kind of making all the transfers and everything, I said I'd make this one part. We're in sixth position. Not too bad. There was a couple of draws. And we'll be playing. Let's see who we're going to be playing in the next game before I end off. Okay, we're playing Southampton next. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys for that fixture in the very near future. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.